All right, I'm in the machine room uh, at uh, CBF. CBF are the guys that I use, uh, you know, when I need skimming done and I need to buy disc pads and so forth. And we've got Gerald here. Gerald's been around for many years, um, you know, with CBF. And uh, he basically, you know, skims the flywheels and the discs and the drums and things in here. So he's busy setting up a, uh, a flywheel over there to be skimmed, you know, and um, I'm here to just show you how they basically skim the disc on that uh, Daihatsu material. But um, this is a typical machine shop, okay, you know, uh, with skimming machines and so forth. Um, and uh, as I said, I've been supporting CBS for all the, for all the years, okay, and we're in the machine shop. So they're about to start the grinding on this uh, but now remember that all the dowels and guide things has to be taken out and uh, the flywheel must be centered on the machine and then of course we use an appropriate stone you know, to slowly cut it so it is a process you'll make uh, several minor adjustments during the during the process and you can see the rotation is not that fast you know pretty slow so you can leave it to do it on its own, you know, you'll just check up on it periodically, okay, so you'll obviously do an inspection on it first to make sure that, uh, you know, we are able to skim it, and you probably check the run out on the, on the disc to see if it's buckled. Gerald, just as a matter of interest, this thing was got by a vibration on when braking, so uh, I suspect that was buckled, you know. Yeah. So I had a brake charger and I put it on a slower speed. Okay. So it's got the rough part and then the cutter on a slower speed. Okay. Alright, so basically we have like a, a cutting, uh, you know, cutting bit uh, tube, one on either side. So they do both sides at the same time. So you put your belt, the belt around it so that you don't get the, you know, that um, metal filing spring all over the side. So he says, when this are normally buckled, then he skims it at a slower speed. They're not much of a run out on the engine. They're not much. That's okay. That is warm, it's quite warm. Yeah. And that could have caused the vibration. Uh, yes. A bit of a shudder. Yes. It wasn't too heavy, but you could feel it. It was very. Then unevenly from the spread. Okay. You can see it's just sort of thick of the high point, you know, and um, so it's either procedure, you know, it takes, you know, it's not a five minute job, so it takes a while, and you make these various adjustments as you go along. Okay, so that is basically how it gets done, and we see the end result. So we basically let it run on its own, okay? Uh, it probably what we will call a cycle. So that's when the when the blade basically cuts from the from the inside to the outside. Okay. So this is what your uh, the procedure this is what the procedure looks like when you're having um, this in you know in the engineering term. As you can see, it's basically on auto. So once it finishes one cycle, you come back and you do you, you check it. And you can see that it's basically it's got two cutting two cutting bits. Okay, one to the in, one to the outside, and one to the inside. So it gets done simultaneously. So you doesn't have to do uh, one at a time. As you can see, the shiny bit is deeper, you know, than the dull bit. So you've got to cut it until it's dull all the way through. You can see the shiny 
movement thought disappeared. So we go on the other side as well. You can see basically, you know, you can see that uh, sand bit. Those are the lower, the lower parts that still have to be taken away. It's not an idiot proof machine, you have to know what you are doing and that is why Gerald is an expert with him having all the years of experience, you know, he knows how to set it and how to tweak it uh, to give you optimal results. And on a slow speed. Slow speed now. Okay, so he says he put it on a slow speed now, just to give it a nice smooth finish, you know, so this is going to be the final run. Um, for this disc and as you can see it's cutting very slowly you know the, the, the actual arm is moving very slowly now okay so that's going to be the final cut as you can see all the all the the, the, the shiny marks are off so there's you know there's just a little bit of high point that is taking off at the moment and that is going to be the final cut and this is the next disc to be cut for the material that does have a bit of a ridge on it Okay, over there. And then of course in here you will find it will have low points and it's got four marks that the disc pads have put on there. That is why it's important that when you do do this, you have to replace them, uh, you have to put in new disc pads. Because you don't want to take that old disc pad and, you know, it starts falling the disc all over again. And there's a complete scheme on the, on the flower. And that looks pretty nice and shiny. So you're not going to have any uh, shadow. So he's knocking the dowel pins back, the die pins back in again. Okay. That's what, the, what basically what the pressure plate uh, uh, um, get lined up on. Now this guy is an expert, he really knows what he's doing. He's been a, in this game for so long. If you look very carefully, you will see that that is shinier than that, that's more dull than that. So, you know, he's giving it that, 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 that finish, you know, that skin, that smooth finish, that will probably prevent uh, any shudder when we apply it. Uh, and this is Shane. Shane's my main man here at TBF. Okay, if you need anything, you speak to Shane. Okay, I'll leave the number in the description below and the address so that you can get in touch with him when you need any breaks done. Okay. <coughs> you can see on this side as well, shinier than that half, you know, it's still cutting through. So, you know, when, when it's done, uh, the whole surface will be basically one fixture. Okay, and that should hopefully mean that the disc is straight on both sides, because they are cutting, they are cutting both sides. You see this is cutting in the We obtain that smooth uh, finish is by uh, just making the, the cutting, the cutting uh, bit move much slower. Okay, so it doesn't give such a graph finish. So you can see it reaching the end of the cut, okay, almost on the edge, almost on the edge.
Okay, it's all done. Take the rubber band off. Um, loosen up the machine and get the disc off and then of course you should connect uh, the next this one. Okay, but I just want to show you that uh, final finish. Okay, so that's the machine disc and that's the one that's going onto the onto the cutting machine right now. Okay.